Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tony and we're back with a brand new Roster Mania video. And today we're going to be talking about the roster that was just announced. Um, so before we get into the video, guys, I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Also, I'm a little sick, so my voice might be off, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but we're just going to roll through today's video. So, Splice announced the pickup of Accuracy. I think Accuracy was announced first yesterday, or maybe the day before. Accuracy was announced to Splice. Um, we were kind of unsure on who was going to be the other three on the team. Um, Looney ends up getting announced. Then he puts out a twit longer, um, just explaining the situation. And he accidentally reveals his team in the twit longer. So uh, the team will be Looney, Accuracy, Jurd, Aqua, and Temp. And this is a really interesting roster because you have the likes of Looney. You have the likes of Aqua back together, but you also have the young sort of upcomer in uh, Temp mixed with a veteran at Stured, um and Accuracy. So this team is really, really, really interesting because if you looked at this roster, you would kind of think just by seeing Looney, Temp, and Accuracy that you went out and you got the three most hated uh, players in the COD community and put them on one team. Um, so they're definitely, I don't think they will be fan favorites. Just because of, you know, accuracy. I don't know. He's always kind of been seen as the bad guy in the community, I guess. Um, Temp talks a lot of trash. Looney's the same way. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how that team gets along as well. Because, um, as you know, I mean, Looney and Slasher, I think, clashed a lot on, um, on Rise. So I can only imagine Temp and Looney going at it. Uh, but, you know, that's obviously that's competition. That's just how it is. I mean, people can't take it personal. Uh, I don't think anybody on this team will take it personal. I think they're all here for one thing, and they're here to win. And if you actually look at their, um, like, placements as the people on the team, their KDs and stuff, they fit really nicely together. And I think the Aqua's kind of had an off year uh, in terms of his KD and stuff, and it's still not even looking bad, you know. Still sitting around that one, which is really, really good for him. Um, but I think the next year, just putting him back in that main main assault rifle role will kind of, you know, it'll definitely make this team a lot better. I think accuracy should probably be the flex on this team and the other three um, play subs. But you never know. Maybe we'll figure something out that works better for them. Uh, but it will be interesting to see if they put aqua accuracy at the main AR. I would personally put aqua, but uh, we'll just kind of have to see. How they go from there. So the next thing is uh, Splice is actually, I think the region locks off. I'm not sure how all that stuff works. I think I've said that before. But so the roster lock or the region lock thing is off. So this uh, Jerd will be moving to NA uh, and he will be playing alongside those players. So one thing I think that's going to make Jerd better because he's going to be getting a lot better practice than he was in Europe. And two, I just think that it's just going to make them better in general, you know, because these guys have teamed before. Um, you know, at some point, not all of them together, obviously, because it's never been 5v5, but at different moments, each of these players have teamed with each other. So, I mean, that's pretty cool to just kind of see these guys come together, you know, pick up the likes of Jurd, who I think is a phenomenal player, and I think that many people would agree with me on that, um, and just his mechanics and, you know, his raw gun skill and stuff, and put that on a team with, you know, the end game leader in Looney, um, the superstar in Aqua, the hothead in Temp, um, and, you know, Accuracy, just a very consistent player. Uh, and I think that a lot of people are under underestimating a lot of players on this roster just because Aqua didn't have good placements last year. Um, but if you think about it on this roster, they have like five event wins between Looney and Accuracy, and that's insane. Uh, especially, you know, considering they were... You know, they weren't necessarily the best players on their team. I think accuracy might have been at one point. But, I mean, Looney did have some good moments too. And I think that his leadership will just bring these teams to the next caliber. And I think that was a huge pickup by Splice. And I think that Splice have built a championship caliber roster. And I think that this team can go really, really far just depending on how um, the people within the team work together. I think that they will be playing against the crowd a lot, which may affect, you know, a guy like Temp. Um just due to nerves he hasn't been on main stage as much as some of these other guys but i think that some of the other guys you know just knowing he looks to his left and his right and he's got you know some of these veterans uh by his side and i think that that will just kind of propel him and make him more comfortable within playing 
Um, but yeah, guys, that's all I really have to talk about today. That was all the roster mania news. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really excited to see this team play. Maybe they can keep up with the likes of Optic or 100 Thieves. Probably not likely, but you never know. This uh, this roster may be a championship caliber roster. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.